Hey, I'm Samuel Nealon. Um, I go to Breezewood, um, love Breezewood Student Ministries. I've been there for two years, and um, I also went to Fable Christian for four years, um, and Pastor Zach was my teacher um, my junior and my senior year. And today I just wanna kinda share something that I feel like Jesus has really done for me in my life that has been a really awesome and big deal for me. So the summer before my sophomore year is about to start, um, I was experiencing a lot of back pain. Um, so my parents had noticed and I had noticed that almost every day I was complaining that either my back hurt, my shoulders hurt, my neck hurt, something in my back was always hurting no matter if I was sitting or if I was standing, it was just always sore. And so because of that, my mom was like, we're going to take you to the doctors and we'll have them check it out. When I went to my doctors, he looked at my back and he was like, yeah, his posture does look a little hunched and if he's in a lot of pain, I think we should refer him to the orthopedics office. I went to the orthopedics office and they took some x-rays, they examined my back, and basically the doctor let me know I had something called kyphosis, which kypho kyphosis is a curvature of the spine, so instead of my spine being like this, basically the top was starting to hunch over. And they had concluded it was probably genetic and hereditary, so when I had started pu puberty, my spine wasn't growing at the same, weight, um, the same rate my body was, so it began to hunch over. Um, so the first thing they did for me is they told me I should start wearing a brace, which was this torso brace um, that went all around my back with a metal rod, um, two metal rods keeping my shoulders back. Um, so they would hopefully improve my punch, posture and not hunch. I tried out the brace, absolutely hated it. Um, it almost caused me more pain because it was hard to focus in class with a big clunky brace on. And I hated how it made me look and it made me really insecure. So I stopped wearing the brace and this is when I became very irritated and kind of frustrated with God because I just didn't get it. Um, I didn't understand why an active, um, very happy person like me was going to have to deal with having a back condition that like most people my age didn't even have. I didn't feel like anyone understood because I was in so much pain. And even when I wasn't in pain, I was very insecure about how I looked because my shoulders almost hunched over. So I had to really strain to keep good posture. So my frustration and, and irritation started to fade into resignation. So by the time I was a junior, senior, I was like, well, this is just something I live with. It hasn't got worse. It hasn't got better. They'll probably just keep monitoring it. And if it does start to get worse, I can get back surgery down the road. Um, and so I just kind of started blocking it out. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't really want to tell people about it. It wasn't something I enjoyed talking about. So I just kind of stopped talking about it with people and kept it to myself. Um, I was still experiencing a lot of pain, which um, I always shared with my parents. And so we tried exercise and we tried other things, but the pain was always there. My senior year, um, we went on a mission trip to Botswana with my senior class and um, Pastor Zach and my principal, Ms. Peters. And towards the end of the trip, we had just got back from a safari and the safari was like an hour of walking. So my back just had a complete flare up. I was in a lot of pain. So I was just kind of sitting by myself um, by the fire, just kind of rubbing my shoulders and rubbing my neck. And that's when one of the missionaries, Raina, asked me if I had hurt myself or if I slept the wrong way, what was wrong with my back and my shoulders. And I kind of just briefly explained to her, oh, I have a back condition, it's probably genetic. Um, it kind of causes me pain and it can cause my shoulders to kind of slump forward and if it gets worse down the road I'll probably get surgery to fix it. And she was like, we need to pray for it, we need to pray for it right now. And I was like, don't really want to do that, I don't even think it's big enough, I don't think it's big enough of a deal to pray for, um, I'll be fine, uh, we don't need to. And then she was like, Samuel, is the pain bothering you? Do you want the pain to go away? Do you want this condition to just go away? And I said, well, yeah. And she said, so let's pray for it. And so then Pastor Zach, after dinner, he gathered some of, um, he gathered um, everyone in my class around and I just kind of explained what was going on on my back and that it was causing me a lot of pain and I wanted it to go away. And so they all gathered around me and prayed for me and laid hands on me. And um, during the prayer, I remember Pastor Zach said, um, for the stripes on your back, Jesus, we know that Samuel's back can be healed. And when they finished praying, I remember coming up because I was kind of forward because everyone was laying hands on me. And when I came up, I remember feeling like a weight had been lifted off me. Um, my shoulders were back, they were aligned. I wasn't having the strain to keep them back. I felt, my back didn't feel heavy. Um, I felt awesome, like I had never felt, my back had just felt so light and I felt so good. And they asked me, how do you feel, how do you feel? 
And I was just like, I was so overwhelmed and I just was crying, but I was happy because something that I thought that was gonna be either lifelong or something I may have to get surgery for down the road was just now, I felt like it was completely gone. And so um, I went the rest of the year feeling great. I didn't have a lot of back pain. My shoulders wasn't slumped. Um, my posture was naturally good. I was taller. Um, I was just straighter in general with my back. And so I felt really good. But then two weeks ago when I was scheduled to have my last pediatric appointment, I had kind of told myself, you know, even though you feel good, even though your back looks better, even though your back is straighter, um, you know, Samuel, just don't be surprised if um, maybe you, they may refer you back to the orthopedics to talk about it. And I remember my pediatrician, he said, okay, can you touch your toes? And I touched my toes and I felt great, um, which that was not something I could easily do. And he looked at my back and he just kind of went over and he said, his back looks good, his back looks perfect, um, he looks healthy, um, I think he's good. And just going from that pediatric appointment and really like, having that thought settled in. You know, a pediatrician looked at my back and he said it's fine. Um, and just knowing that I don't need surgery down the road, I don't have to wear another brace, it's just, it's just, it's just really, really um, awesome that I know that I have a God that he wants to take pain from me and that he wants to take things in my life away from me and something that I was holding on to that I felt like no one could touch. He was so willing to just, um, he was willing to take the weight of that for me and um, it was just really awesome.